they have, you know, Graves, as we talked about, can get through the jungle uh, with a large amount of health. Uh, it can at least hang around that area. When Shen hits level six, you know, Corky has given Jungler an instant level two if he's sitting over there. And especially a Kha'Zix, you know, jump starting a Kha'Zix along the jungle route uh, uh, can definitely snowball the early board. A roam, however, Shotokot almost back up in CS and won't have too big of a difference here. Oh, oh no! Looking there from Smoothie, Ignite is down. They're going to try going oh, for the And that's first blood to Smoothie! Oh. Working towards the vision. I like to see large groups of uh, teams going to do the first line of vision, which is. I want to go in for a contract. Whoa! Play penalty there, chain of corruption. Lands on a Sven Scarin. Flashes out of the way. Smoothie plays him in. There's the hook land again, straight into the smoke screen. Sven gonna pop the ulti and try and run out, but he's got nowhere to go. Sneaky. Cancel with the that. next kill. And Haunter yeah, immediately hits the cancel. <laughs> Uh, that's why I, uh, you want to go with a large group, but even with the large group, uh, met by a tremendous force from Cloud9 and explosive. A little risky, Sven Scarin though, gonna go maybe the short way around. All team from Brass gonna catch him, and now Contract trying to take him down. Should be enough damage. Oriana Ball's almost enough to save him. Contract takes him down, but the snipe comes back in, and he'll go down to Turtle. Now Haunter diving in with the teleport. Here, which is gonna afford him some. Plus, he's landed a snare. Bubble there as well. Snare after the deadly flourish. Easy kill for Haunter. And TSM now gonna convert for the Drake. TSM get another pick off here. This one is unanswered. Cloud9 do have Teleport on impact, but no Stand United, so they may just go for some sort of Snipe Steal. Sneaky's famous for it. Certainly is. W not going to work for Varus, but Q should be do, do just fine. <laughs> not enough there, and Haunter goes back in with Jensen. TSM so decisive in the bubble. Get a catch oh! of his own gets it, and Sven takes out Sneaky. TSM take the Dragon and take their lives. First mid out of for C9. TSM are rotating and they want to chase him off. Tower's getting low. They're not going to get it though. Bifrost looks at Jensen, finds him. And Haunter got his way in there as well. Snare up on Jensen is huge. Bjorkson needs to find the angle. Chunks him out with the QW. Him back in the front lines. But TSM have great initiative here. Oh. Fight Sneaky flashed into it there. They're trying to do this again. But a huge shock wave for Bjorkson. A double kill for the Oriana. Smoothie now getting chased down. He'll go down as well to Haunter. Bjorkson just kept looking for that shock wave on the back line. Ignore the early opportunities for small ones and hits a huge one. TSM moving over to Baron after that three kill victory. All right, who's up? Just Jensen and Impact. I don't see any hero plays around Baron, so they're going for the turret instead. They should be able to get it. Jensen just needs one swift auto. Needs two. There we go. <laughs> but Baron over to TSM in an instant. And that's that solid five man team comp. Summer last year looking so much better than they have in the first five weeks. Here they are again. Haunter's in the middle. Haunter's pretty unkillable as well. Impact locked up. He's the tank, but he's going to fall down here. Haunter gets himself another. And they're going to keep rolling ahead. Baron buff is going to empower this push all the way to the inhibitor turret round until the turret goes down. Prince Garen looking in for it. Big shots out for Wild Turtle. Gonna leave it open for as long as he can. Inhibitor now wide open. Smoothie gets chunked out as well. Spends a little low, but Haunter just so tanky in the front side. Ulti out from Sneaky. He's just gonna kind of... Oh, that's awkward from Bjergsen. Uses the ball and immediately they have to pull away. Yeah, that takes a lot of their confidence away. Contract tag with the first impact, trying to block for his teammates. Sneaky gets the next one, crit onto Jensen's good damage and impact. Flashes himself out of the way, but Sven chases forward as Bjergsen takes him down. Now Haunter locks off Contract, Contract flashes out. Good hook there onto Sven's game, but he's gonna live through everything. Bjergsen gets himself the double, and Haunter's just not done. Ball gonna come in, Bjergsen needs to lock this up. Haunter still chasing in, sped up by the Oriana, slows in there. That's a triple kill for Bjergsen, Smoothie goes down as well. That's gonna be the Quadra and Jensen. The Dive him, left for get the Penta. The Penta. <laughs> Jensen's not going to give it to him, though. He's going back to the fountain, but DSO might go in there as well. We got 25, maybe 30 <laughs> seconds. The Penta window is long. Jensen is just daring TSM to try and kill him. Do it! <laughs> Onto one set, but TSM would rather take the game instead. Jensen is playing with fire. He knows as well. He's going to dodge around. Oh! The oh! He got it! That's to be the Penta kill! TSM, the boys of Summer may very well be back in spring. Clean game one versus Cloud9. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. Yeah. The first Pete in North uh -huh. America, of course, belongs to Bjergsen. Jensen just made it look too juicy. And he was you know, helping out with the shot going a lot as well. Uh, how do you feel about TSM's comp? With the fact that they banned Maokai very early, because Nautilus is great for single target lockdown. 
type of doing the Raptor camp, though, is that you also smite earlier, so you don't gain, you know, the full amount of health from that smite, possibly. And Stain over to the enemy champion and get a little free harass is good, oh, but... Oh, Sven? Sven is solo, gets the exhaust Ex out. Done. Jensen's still fighting, they're looking for the first blood. Jensen trying to flash up play, but there's first blood, Sven Skarin. Yeah, Jensen did immediately get out of town. And they could burst him out very quickly if they flash. Oh, good leap. Buzz Wave, a contact oh. flashing in for it. Needs to kick him, not quite in range. Equalizer down, but it's a bit too defensive. Now Haunter forced to flash out from under Nautilus, so he gets tagged again. Snare is up there from the hook, and the Q is going to land. Impact gets the kill. Oh, they're eventually able to find him anyways there, as Haunter uses the ultimate, even though... Erickson safe, though. C9 don't opt in for a potential mid lane gank, and Smoothie is going to move uh -oh. in. Top lane dive being prepped though. He's got no armor here so far. Fence going looking for an impact with the flash and the ulti flashes out. Bjerk's in here as well. Pokes gonna land in. Oh, he's got it! Flashes for it, gets him with the orders and the depth charge. Just chases him away to victory. And there it is. Bjergsen finally takes his stall. He's been pushing in mid over and over and over. It's gonna be okay. And meanwhile, Jensen snares, contracts in. There's a kill for the lease in. All right, we got action everywhere. Plus, no, he stayed too long. Now he stayed up by the chin. Oh. Flashes and sneaky crits him with the last bullet. Jensen gets a snipe on the other side. But Scarin takes out Kondrax as well. More blood, more blood. And back dead as well. There's a double kill for Bjergsen. More blood is what you want, Kirby. You've got it. That's just, that's a mess. All right, there's nobody left around to fight anymore. Everyone's off. We well on the way at 3-0-1. Arrow lands on a sneak, he actually stuns him in. TSM looking for a play for his spell. Gonna get snared up. That's the kill for Kondrax for the execute. Kill down there on a the sneaky is now the equalizer's gonna force Smoothie to flash out of the way. Bjergsen fighting 1v2, exhaust on the contract. Jensen wants it, but Bjergsen gonna turn out oh! no! He gets shut down by Kondrax. Ding ding, round two. Oh, oh here we go. gonna go down, perhaps Swans are gonna burn him to a crisp. There's an easy pickup for the rumble. Fight, fight, fight. Nobody left on the bottom side, so that means the. Actually, from impact. Oh. Hans is here already. I think that's a prize cloud nine. Kondrak's gonna kick him back, but he's already taken so much damage. Tries to kick him back in his fence. Oh. Looks to get in there. Jensen locks and Haunter. His impact takes it. Biofrost needs to find the big ultimate. Gets it up, but it's not enough. Impact grabs a double kill. Arrow in from Turtle. There's gonna be the counter kill. Impact goes down. Oh, and they're not done yet. Jensen goes in for the snare. All right, the snare lands in. Here's the ultimate from Jin. Shot into Biofrost. Shot into him again. Fourth shot, he tanks it, making sure his team stays safe. But Jensen powered up. Looks for the realm while Biofrost needs to land the big oh, snare. Didn't want to commit to that one. I guess his flash was used earlier. All right, was one v three. Haunt are gonna get out of this one. No, he can't. Smoothie gets himself a kill. Feels good for the support. It's uh, one. it's actually surprising to think about. Cloud Nine have not killed a turret this game. They've been kind of able to keep. If you knock one in, away from the rest of them. This is good, but Turtle flashing into the gym boy. Now the rest of the squad's here. Turtle gonna get knocked up and blown up. Sneaky claims that one. Haunter trying to cut him in half as Sven Skarin chases down Sneaky. Exhaust is down Sven. One by one. His life. Cloud9 punishing the overstepping TSM. The poke is still too much. Cloud9 might have to back out Bjergsen. Can he smell blood? He definitely sees a lot of low health. Member. Cleaver should shred through this. Bjergsen slams him down. And Haunter gets a kill. What are Cloud9 going to do on the opposite side? They should at least... Okay, turret's already dead. I was going to say go for the turret, but... That one took a long time coming. They are then having such a small percentage of the map being there. They can't stop this. As TSM just goes straight through mid. Or the scene that looks wrap around for the flank. Haunter tagged by a deadly forester. Jumping on a Jensen. Spang in his own. Now Bjergsen eats the ulti and his Biofrost with a good defensive ult. Haunter staying alive for a little longer with the Zonyas. And now Impact going to get toned on. Contract takes it down. The title hooked up by Impact. TSM getting out of Cloud9's base. Bjergsen just has oh. to keep juking. Contract's almost gets him and will nail Sven Skarin. Now the Realm Womp looking for Bjergsen. He's going to try and take them down. But the exhaust is enough. Bjergsen just can't get it. TSM pinned themselves inside of Cloud9's base, and Impact got to play the front line role finally for Cloud9. They find their team fight set up with their tank, and they were real damage in a fight. Plus, TSM are losing control of their wards because Cloud9. Oh, oh, oh. Contract, that was an interaction. Dirk's <laughs> in the court out. Impact gonna knock him over the ultimate, and there's the kill. Firefrost with a nice ultimate, but he gets locked up on the other end. Now Jensen chasing in as a good flash gets him out. Equalizer almost takes out everybody else. TSM on the run. Yeah, Cloud9 have the inside track down mid lane, though. They should be able to get control of those minions. They're actually looking to pressure TSM and force later backs. They're teleporting behind oh. them to, to trap them in. You're gonna cut everybody off here. TSM have to run the opposite way. Sneaky gonna find Haunter. Haunter gonna try and take one down, but a flash out from Smoothie as Haunter presses on his button. Contract's unstoppable. Takes down another. 
No tag there, but Sneaky's in. There's the Realm Warp. Turtles left out to dry. Firefrost, not enough to snare them up, and he dies after the flash. Surprise! Jensen's here again, able to jump on them, and C9 should be able to get another slick bear in there. Contracts right on in top of it. Sven Scare again. Impact needs to get in there, though. Sven do a Miracle Steal? I mean, he's going to get uh, hit up here by Impact. Impact's trying something Sven's looking to take them out, but Sneaky just kites them back. Baron now to Cloud9. Cloud9 going to find a fight that works when they don't have that many options left. C9 know it. Firefrost going to get 1v1 by Contract. Very stylish ward hop kick. All right. That's probably going to be Elder Dragon as well, because Sven is going to be coming from base. Um, the possible steal would maybe be a Haunter coming up from bottom lane and wasting his ultimate, but I don't think he even throw that, as that's one of your only hopes for winning a team fight. So C9 should be able to get both Baron buff and Elder Dragon buff for their last push. And now Cloud9 looking to end this game well and truly. They held on for TSM's 26 minute assault, and now it's Sneaky's turn. Spence Garen. Hops away from the next board. Impact straight onto Bjergsen. Turtle gonna get knocked up as well, but back to the safety of the turret. Snare not gonna land, but now the inhibitor turret is ripe for the picking. Cloud9 take it down easily. Span has to get zoned out again by a Nautilus hook, and these enders don't have enough health to withstand this push. Take their time here. Wait for another round of minions to buff up with Baron. They're still very comfortable with the Super late game boss. Here comes C9. Cut off ultimate, not enough. Firefrost with a big strangle bonds. And now Impact getting burnt down. TSM might have found enough. They get the GA off of the Nautilus. Ponta though goes in as contract oh. gets exhausted, hops his way out, but he dies as Sneaky goes off again. Turtle caught up by Impact. Jensen's gonna get the next kill. And it's just too easy ones for Cloud9. Realm Warp in. Looks for Bjergsen. <laughs> He's got a spell shield. Impact, the only one in as they take down the inhibitor. That's so it's always so comical when one person low health shows up on the Realm Warp. And uh, it is still going to be Cloud9 working towards the Nexus turrets and looking to even up our series, Face Tree. Ben Scarin looking to get some work done on the flank, but he can't find the right angle. Impact finds him. And he's dead. Cloud9 pushing in towards these turrets and TSM. Not much left to defend with Jackson to get zoned out by Jensen. Nexus turret's going to fall down on Cloud9. Say, you want the crown? Come a little harder next time. Cloud9 rally caps on. Push this to game number three. Taking Zed. And having a Shen on your team really helps out when a lot of these lanes are going to be trading heavily and there's going to be a lot of duels that do break out. They've caught, uh, you know, as long as there's not a lot of intervention up there. Rumble, even without Flash, should be fine. He actually took a bunch of health. Bunch of damage there. It carried over because he wasn't able to bait. Now has cooldown. But anyways, fake warding is definitely. Oh, there's the jump for contract. contract. Gets the jump. Isn't scaring pretty strong. By blood. Oh, oh. the first blood in for contracts. Oh, oh my goodness. Contracts immediately taking advantage of this. Still gonna be able to steal away. Some... Actually, yeah. Sven should check this because they saw him walk toward the area. Not gonna check. Huh. He's gonna wait damage instead. Contract isolated him again. Sven Scarin gonna go down against Contracts. Gets another. I almost want a replay because I thought he walked over that dying ward. Jensen holding steady in the mid lane. Nice and safe on the Echo, particularly with Chrono Break available. Good top by Haunter. Boston Impact to equalize. Oh. That could be a solo kill. Haunter grabs it. All right. The question is, who will step up for TSM to get them out of this situation? Haunter says... Who else is here? C9 TPing Impact in. Ultimate is available. Contract's also here. Great equalizer from Impact. Firefrost burning down. Oh. Double the turtle. Sand United needs to be completed. Slap complete. Does go down. Spent, uh, contract's going to fall. Firefrost oh. actually gets it. Yeah, even though Contract's blows up, that's going to give them control of this turret. They should be able to get first. All right, they already got it in mid lane, but they're yeah. able to get another. Side waves in the double globals. TSM on the other hand, trying to make a play. Gonna look for impact. Bjergsen Flash. flashes in, uses the death mark. Taunt down there, not too impact. That's an easy pop as Haunter gets it. Yep. Impact there going for the wave as he dies. Does get some gold while he's going down. And that's the benefits of, you know, setting up your 1 3 1 before. Trying to fight instead. Stun coming up. Party belts in. It's gonna be for the stun, but Haunter taunts out. Snare lands in from Smoothie, though. Good blast, couldn't oh. save Haunter. Jensen follow flashes, Haunter flashes as well. Juke the Q is not quite enough, and a Haunter maybe gonna turn around. Jensen should have it, and he does. Because they ro roamed up to the top side with so many members, though, TSM slip in to try and trade an Ocean Drake for a single kill. And...
you know, give away a bunch of drakes. TSM have gotten the first two. So they're actually feeling pretty good about it. Impact is the target once again. He has flash this time. Most green to spin. 1v1 needs the ultimate. Get a line it up. There it is, but it's not enough. Oh, it is! But Contrax gets the counter kill. Stand United can't save him. Impact, yeah, did not expect the explosion there to kill him for some reason and goes down with flash up. Whoops. Well, trade there, I suppose. Fence game with a good individual play. Type of compositions. And TSM have actually been getting a decent amount of gold back into this game by their Ignite Zed split pushing as no one can really answer Bjergsen getting to his double lethality already. And it looks like another one quickly on the way. Cloud9 do jump on him though. Going in for it. Jensen trying to start things off. Jin Ultimate is dodging it around. Bifrost hits the next hit. Haunts are on the spang with the stage United. Now let's turn it around. Arrow lands on the contract. Get a taunt him in. Jumping it up. But Jensen takes out Spin on the other end. Now Sneaky getting jumped up by Bjergsen. Bjergsen flashes in with the, the pop. It's not quite enough, it is though with the Ignite, and now Impact taunted up by Haunter as the rest of TSM come down. DSM able to take down three members of Cloud9 and should be able to get oh, dead. No. Whoa! Taunted as well, Pops as Onyas, has the Chrono Break. He has killed, Chrono, but it's in space, I think he's gonna go down in place, excuses Jensen, dies back in, he wants a trade, but that's an ace for TSM. I think Smoothie walked in too close to the Shuriken there as well, Bjergsen cut. Got the and then we talked about the Tria Sam with Ivan Naka. Contract oh. face check in. Arrow lands in, hits contracts. Damage is there. Bjergsen wants to drive, finish him off, man. Scary now, but to clean it. These are why we keep saying margin for arrow is so low. There's no one who can safely take an arrow. Anyone who gets hit with this arrow is going to have huge health percentage loss. Contracts last time, dead. Impact this time, dead. Baron now, possibly dead. <laughs> well, 6,000 health left. Bjergsen. They're a little late. Smoothie trying to zone them out, but Jensen wants to dive in for it. He's onto Turtle. Damage is big. TSM trying to finish everything here. Sand United might save Turtle. The exhaust is down as well. He'll flash out of it, but they have to get out the barrel. 1,300 contracts is in! And, and there it goes down! See that walk in and take oh the Oh my goodness! Jensen still at it! Still going. Pops is on his after the conversion. Stuns up Haunts up. <laughs> chase him down. Haunts are very tanky, but Jensen wants the squishy Biofrost. Can't get it, but... That was horrible for TSM. That is a barren throw right there. Let's see how far that throw. Yeah, this should be easy pickings. Um, but TSM could pose a bigger threat at the secondary one. Oh, 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 there it is. The double ninja bad guy. Sneaky ninja seed. Taunts up as well. Sneaky goes down. Bjergsen makes a huge play with the help of his top laner. Sven flashes out the safety. Jensen, Corona breaks back in. Big redemption though coming out from the support. And Bjergsen gets a double kill. And all of the judges. 10, 10, 10 for that one. Bjergsen and Han Edge of Night. Spell shields. <laughs> Boom. No arrow up, but there's the vision that TSM wants it around the Baron. Oh, Bjergsen all in for Smoothie, looking to make the play. He's out, bye that's bye. a kill! And now Haunts a fight, Sneaky, huge shot on the back end. Gets the next kill, and now the Redemption down. Gonna keep Haunts a chugging forward. Once again, the tag team between these solo landers has been huge this series. There we go, they are able to flash in, finish him off. That's two kills down. Jensen, Contracts, Impact. They've got to make their last stand now. And Impact can't make it back in. He's in mid lane, but he canceled that teleport. Baron is going down Too so late. quickly. Equalizer burning down. Don't miss this, Mites. Ben Scarin nails it. And now Contracts. The next target, Jensen, rolls away from that arrow. All right, C9 going to try and turtle inside their inhibitor. Some of the momentum of this Baron buff. Let's take a look at it. Turtle. He's just chilling. Turtle did save his summoner spells, though. Ow. So <laughs> I guess he was like, yeah, Jensen's there. All right, I'm saving my oh. oh, double Bjergsen's ninja backline dive again. New mission. All right. First heat's down. They scored a 10. Here's the second heat. Can they cancel it? Oh, oh my god. I cancel it by killing him, I guess. Jensen stuns one up, but he's coming out of Zonius. He should go down here. Bjergsen gonna stab him straight in the back. Ay, 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 that damage from Bjergsen. Oy. All right, well, let's see about this. Mm, is anybody even gonna get close to try and steal this? Ah, sneaky W, put your faith in that. Is anybody gonna stop Ponza? Well, Turtle's back alive. They have no teleports. It's not looking somebody, good. Somebody block it. There we go. <laughs> They're what? Oh? Uh-oh. -uh. Sneaky! Oh, 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 that looked close. <laughs> then Scare and another clutch smite, though, gonna be okay today. Decently close, but they are able to secure it. And TSM move forward. Baron and Elder Dragon on split push. They're gonna return. Turtle just gonna be cautious. They need to break here. Turtle putting the wallets. 
do as best use he can. Needs to hit a couple champs, though. Inhibitor goes down. TSM has have too much damage. Cloud9 can't stop the first one. Where are TSM going next as they make their way topside? Even with all of those shields, Turtle dropped down to 44 health right before the uh, reden Redemption came in to heal him back up. Looking a bit healthier now. Yeah. Still keeping up the push, and he still has his flash. So he held on to that. Cloud9 backs against the walls. Talk about backline, actually. Smoothie and Sneaky down. It's the finals of Double Ninja Backline Dive. Oh, good catch! Smoothie deleted! And now Spence Gehring in a right haunts her in. TSM take the top lane in here. Cloud9 are running out of stuff to defend. Next is start number one. Is where TSM will turn their attention to. That's going to go down. Cloud9 trying to defend. Impact burns the ultimate. It's just getting a little desperate. Jensen dives in onto Haunter. Contract almost dead. Spence Garen almost gets sniped by Jin, though. And Haunter still fighting out. Bjergsen into the back line, wants to try and take him down. Oh. Ricky goes down to Bjergsen, who's now dominating. Spence Garen going to get jumped up by Contract. Good exhaust over Biofrost. And that's going to be a kill. TSM, they storm the throne room. Can they topple the Kings of the NARCS? Yes, they will. And in Cloud9, their first loss of the spring. And our new favorite Olympic sport comes up real. <laughs>